Yes guys, welcome back to the channel today. We're back with the 21 videos in 21 days and today we're back for the third video on the new temporary stand at Rexmo scene. If you think I'm milking the content out of this new stand then you'd be absolutely correct because it really is fascinating to all these long-term Rexham fans and all the new Rexham fans who are interested in what's going on at Rexham. Rexham have released two new images and we've seen some drone footage. I just want to talk about a couple of things to do with the new stand and of course I use my social media, I use Twitter to get you guys to ask some questions in and your thoughts on the temporary stand. I'd look through some of the replies today and they're well worth putting in the video. Before we get going in today's video make sure to get down there, click the red subscribe button for the best for XMOZ content on YouTube. Let's see if we can hit 19.8k. That'd be a good goal to hit and make sure to drop a like on this video and let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the new temporary stand. So as we can see from looking at the pictures it seems as if the temporary stand is almost completely up by now. Of course a lot of people are probably thinking if it's fully up and running then why aren't we putting it in use on Saturday against Colchester and that's because obviously they need to have that confirmation, they need to have all the safety checks done by the FA so that might take a while I think I've saw a couple of other clubs have had to wait a couple of weeks for that so we've obviously planned in advance and hopefully we'll have it done by the 23rd that's the goal and of course the main other thing to point out is a lot of Wrexham OC fans I think we're assuming that we go from the colour of the whole stadium seat which is of course is red but they've come out black and if I'm being brutally honest I think it does look quite smart and black I think the black chairs do look nice of course I've seen people moaning but you won't be able to tell what colour seat there are because there'll be 2,300 fans packed into that stand you won't be able to tell the colours because there'll be no seats to see. That was interesting that the fact that they'd installed black seats and from the drone footage that we've seen of the new temporary stand it looks as if that the two wheelchair sections will be on either side of the stand so originally my thought was that they'd run down the middle of the stand but it looks like they're going to go left and right of both stands they aren't obviously installed yet another thing i wanted to point out i deleted it on one of my other videos actually because i thought it was just the walkway of where the workers are doing work but this has quickly debunked my thought of the fans coming through the front of the stand via the mold road or the wrecks and lark i don't think that was ever going to happen but as we can see by the pitch i'll put it on screen now there are five walkways you know that obviously go under the stand and up looking in the background of this picture and this drone footage there's nowhere really that sort of says where the people are going to obviously to scan their tickets on a match day we can't see anywhere that would be noticeable like if they've had temporary turnstiles installed obviously they wouldn't really do it this soon but they can obviously install them within probably about a day or so but looking at the drone footage behind the goal there is a lot of room there's a lot of area so they probably could install maybe six or seven temporary turnstiles which is what I think Rex Mercy are going to do and it's been put up really really well really really fast it doesn't look like your average temporary stand which looks like it's got a lot of metal work from the picture we've seen above of the temporary stand of course I'll overlay these pictures when I'm talking on screen it looks very very smart and the only real metal bits you can see from above is of course the metal bits at the back again opens another conversation is it you know for the wind is it for the weather is it for advertising I highly doubt it. I think we've seen it at Gillingham you know there's lots of different things that people are suggesting this could be for but for me I think it's just part of the structure of the new temporary stand and like I said overall it just looks really really modern it does look aesthetic and I wasn't really expecting this when we announced the temporary stand this looks like it could be you know a stand that's been there for four or five years a permanent stand but to say this is a temporary stand and it's been put up within a matter of under a week is very very impressive looking at the point of view from the tech end it it looks smaller than what it does from like the drone footage and from the Wrexham Lager stand, but will soon look a lot bigger when they do remove those wooden advertising boards. But it's really, really good to see that we have, you know, found this solution. And of course, the club said it wasn't financially viable a couple of weeks ago, but of course, we know from this it's Rob and Ryan. Unofficially, we can sort of understand that it was Rob and Ryan wanting to meet the demands of tickets and wanting to meet the demand of people that want to be inside the racecourse ground on a match day. And of course, their main goal when they took over was they wanted to give back to the community and they wanted to improve the community of Wrexham for the better and they've definitely gone one step further although they're making a loss from this they're putting the fans first over money and fair play to the workers that have worked on this for the past week they've put it up really quickly and of course I'm sure I can speak on behalf of any Wrexham fan by saying we cannot wait to see this up on the 23rd against Newport County and to all the people that have been commenting on my previous videos about the wooden advertising boards we can sort of gather the understanding that these will have to be removed they will be removed in previous videos I said if you know the company paid for advertising but I'm sure they'll just replace that by putting them on the LED boards but looking at it from the tech end they're going to 
have to remove these wooden boards because they take up a fair chunk of the view from the temporary stand. So, you know, that's a small topic that I thought I'd add on that it seems as if those boards will be taken down. Just really, really exciting times. It's gone up so, so quickly. It seems like yesterday that we read the news that they were set to install it the following week and they've done it really, really well. Fair play to the workers. Of course, it doesn't take too long to put a temporary stand up, but the way they've done it and of course it just looks smart it does look smart and it will do the job up until we can start the reconstruction and the redevelopment of the new cop so yeah fair play to everyone who pushed this idea to go ahead with this temporary stand so we're going to be going over to twitter now reading some of the replies from my tweet i just said what are your thoughts on the temporary stand let me know what your thoughts and opinions are and the first one we're going to be reading out is from doug figgins he says exceptional action by a major club who else would literally burn a pile of money so more people People could see home games live this is a major expense as all can see it's not a business but a personal decision thank you is the obvious answer i don't know what to add on to that they've hit the nail on the head with what they've said about the temporary stand of course we got the indication from sean harvey saying it wasn't financially viable for rex mercy to go ahead with a temporary stand we'd be making a loss rob and ryan have obviously seen that the demand for rex mercy is sky high at the minute and they want to meet those demands and they want to make the fans of rex very very happy and give back like they said when they first took over and they've done a massive massive step towards doing that of course they've done hundreds and hundreds of things already they know that it's going to make a loss and they've still gone ahead with it anyway so we can only take our hats off to them and thank them like this person has said the next question reads great it's up but should have been done three to four months ago but wasn't feasible or impossible to do what's changed all of a sudden it will be up until december next year you know i think what's changed is of course they were planning on you know building the cop this year they were planning on starting this year and problem after problem after problem just building up building up building up we expected this to happen of course when we did announce the cop redevelopment but should have been done three or four months ago don't agree with that i think of course they were planning ahead they knew their plan they wanted to get the redevelopment done as soon as possible and i think there were a few problems here and there that they weren't expecting to go ahead it seems as if the cop work isn't going to start until maybe four or five months away so this is a good temporary solution this is a really good temporary solution although we'll be making a loss it's still a way that we're able to meet the demand of letting fans into the race course ground and of course having nearly two and a half thousand more people in the race course ground on a match day can only be a benefit to the team and of course increase the atmosphere in the stadium having two sets of fans behind both goal two sets of Wrexham fans is going to be good in itself and it's going to help the team and of course like I said with more fans inside the ground it's only going to be better for the team and of course it's going to be a better side to see our attendances go up although I'm making a loss it can't be a massive loss if they've gone ahead with it I don't think we're looking at hundreds of thousands of pounds losing on this so we should feel very very lucky that we've been able to go ahead with it considering they've said that we've been making a a loss if we were to install one a couple of weeks ago next person says great to be able to increase the capacity with every game selling out not sure i'd be too keen on the temporary stand when we score a 96th minute winner very very true we've seen at wheelstone when we scored last year they had very very poor advertising boards and railings and we saw how that went they got clattered they got broken so we've seen it with temporary stands before but none of the jokes on this one it's a proper structure it's safe we all know that it's not going to be an issue if we do score a last minute winner but yeah there will be limbs in the temporary stand if we do score a last minute winner the next point is very positive move i was only expecting a capacity of about 1200 so very pleased i know the club are losing money but it will also boost to local businesses yes i completely agree i said it on a video in the summer that i said if we were to install a temporary stand i'd be happy with between 500 and a thousand i think we were all shocked when they did say 2300 you know we got the idea that if a temporary stand was to go ahead it probably wouldn't have been more than 1500 but they've got that one step further and to be honest looking at the pictures it might have been possible to go even further we could have maybe increased it to 3,000 that might seem an unrealistic goal but I'm sure that wouldn't have harmed us adding 700 more seats but beggars can't be choosers it's still great to see 2,300 more Rex and fans in on a match day and of course yeah it will help local businesses there'll be more people traveling to Wrexham on a match day there'll be more people in and around the town centre of Wrexham, but can only be a positive for the businesses around. The next point from Nick says, good early fix, but I hope it doesn't become a permanent feature for years. We've seen that with Gillingham, and I think we're not going to see that with Wrexham, purely because how eager we are to get the work for the pop done. You know, we've 
pushing and pushing day by day. I'm sure there'll be hurdles at Wrexham FC getting over to get the cop work started and they're trying very hard behind the scenes to get this going and I think these issues will be resolved hopefully in the next five to six months and of course we can get rid of the temporary stand and start the reconstruction and the redevelopment of the cop and you know I don't think we'll let this be a permanent feature for years of course Rob and Ryan have shown how passionate they are towards getting the new cop and developing other areas of the ground you know they're eager to do it and I think they will push and push and push to get everything done so we can start the redevelopment unlike Gillingham who you know I think they're quite content with their temporary stand I think they're moving stadiums as well so that's probably why they've kept the temporary stand and not started building a new stand yeah I don't think this will be a permanent feature to come the next person says stand of Foz well I've seen loads of people on Twitter saying this that we just call it the stand of Foz because obviously it's temporary Ben Foster was here temporarily at Wrexham OC to help us in the running and of course he did save that penalty against Notts County down that end I'd be more than happy this stand of Foz what a name that is whoever came up with that they need to give themselves a round of applause because that should be the name that should be the name of it we should get on a massive banner across the back this stand of Foz but yeah I'm sure if Ben Foster ever comes back to Wrexham he's more than welcome to go in the stand of Foz behind the goal because unofficially I'm sure that'll be what Wrexham fans are going to call it the next person says this stand will not only allow more eyes to witness once in a lifetime memory but it will close off escaping noise and help to provide another 20% of overall volume completely agree although it's a temporary stand it means of course the sound isn't going to just travel straight out of the stadium there'll be fans there there'll be stand there to obviously increase the atmosphere at Rectum OC and of course like they touched upon it'll be 2,300 more people that will be able to make memories inside the race course ground so overall it is a massive win-win. Someone did say it'll be fun in the wind, rain and snow. Good luck to anyone that is planning on going in that stand behind the goal because obviously we've seen there won't be a roof on it unless something changes. Make sure to cover up, wear your hoods, get your umbrellas out if you're allowed them. We're coming to the wintry part of the year so it's going to be wet, it's going to be cold, it's going to be windy, everything they've said it's not going to be like it's summer and I think fans will be rushing to get in that stand in the summer, but we're at the opposite time of year, so yeah, wrap up warm if you're planning on going in the stand of Foz. That is it from today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, click the red subscribe button, and of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on the new temporary stand. I'll be uploading another video when they do release the details, of course, I'm sure a lot of people will be eager to see what is going on with the temporary stand, what are the details behind it. This is the place to be to come for that information, so like I said, make sure to click the subscribe button, and of course, thank you for all the support what you've shown me on the channel and I'll see you in another video up the town.